Hello there. Once again, this is Anton from Antonimo Bay. Taking another look at some comics that are from the Widows collection. Um, I never owned War Machine comics before, but she had a nice chunk of them in there. Um, as I've said before, uh, the Widows collection is a collection that I purchased from a widow um, whose husband was a collector and he passed away about 15 years ago, um, which should tell you about where his collecting days kind of stopped. I'd say he stopped before that because I didn't see like a whole lot of uh, early 2000s stuff, mostly early to mid 90s. And I love this stuff. It's great. Um, very glad to have it. Very glad to be the one who takes care of somebody else's collection after acquiring it. Um, my special guest action figures today for War Machine are a couple of members from the uh, Brotherhood of Steel. And we're just going to go right into it. The first issue, uh, as you can see, chrome cover. Um, and I've read... I got about through the first five of these. Um, I guess there's issue three, and I've been very pleased with them. I'm surprised at how good they are. I kind of didn't have a lot of expectations for them, but they're very good. Um, the art is good. The covers are good. I dig them. It's very 90s, but that one's out of sequence, but very good. I can't complain with them. Um, However, I do have to complain at some point, because as these are great, this is War Machine. This is War Machine. And this is also War Machine. There comes a point where they get this terrible idea. This is the epitome of War Machine. These got like a flag and stuff, and this is the best War Machine you're probably going to see. But, it, it doesn't end there. Um, even when we add a bonus for a large dinosaur monster cover, we get into trouble with this series. Because this is War Machine? Seriously. But how you should read that is, this is War Machine? Seriously? Question mark. Because they totally rechanged his design, and it just looks like ass. I don't even know how else to say it. It just doesn't look like the character. He looks all weird. He looks all bionic. This is him. That's War Machine. Um, and I would say that that's why this series didn't last much longer after they did that. However, you gotta count it. The first, the first half of the series was great. Um, and even though the art stays good, it's so not the character that we know that it just becomes impossible to associate with, in my opinion. Anyway, that's my story, and I'll catch you guys later.